Hey everyone, this is Divi Daddy, Patrick Hakeem. I'm calling in with Daniel today. I'm Daniel Pace with Simple Crypto Consulting. And today we're just gonna try to set up a video for you guys. You guys have had a lot of questions, um, especially coming in through, you know, Bitcoin Benz groups, uh, through Bitcoin Connections and through Bitcoin Branches US. Um, we've seen a lot of you guys asking questions online. So we just wanted to take a second and, and set up some time today to create a video that really discusses uh, you know, the crypto 101 for people who've never bought crypto before, how to get in, how to buy, you know, uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin or something offered on Coinbase. Uh, let's say you, you may not be spending enough to meet Caleb and Brown's minimum like Bitcoin Ben talks about on his channel. That's something we've talked about. How do you get in at, you know, the thousand dollar level? So today we're going to show you guys I've deposited a thousand dollars in my Coinbase account. And I'm going to show you guys how to take that money, deposit it in Coinbase, create a brand new Exodus wallet. And then we're going to show you how to pair that wallet, back up that wallet and transfer your funds from Coinbase into Exodus. Now we're going to be doing it today from an iPhone um, onto Exodus, but the same platform uh, on Coinbase works the same way, whether it's on a desktop version, on an iPhone or on uh, an Android. Either way, you're using the same interface. We're going to show you how to purchase we're going to show you how to find your addresses, how to send your addresses, and how to get money from Coinbase over to Exodus. You missing anything? Yeah, I think that's going to sum up what we're doing. Uh, as a disclaimer, none of this is technically financial advice. So anytime you do anything with crypto, there are risks and fees associated. So you do your own research and uh, all that kind of stuff. Also, if anybody is in the comments claiming to be me, I'm never going to take your money. He's not going to take your money. I will from never ask my... you for anything. We're not going to take your private seeds. Don't share that with anybody online. Never share your private keys. Don't share your private keys. So if somebody's doing that in the comments, ignore them, block them, report them, etc. It's not legitimate. Once you open up your Coinbase account on your desktop or mobile device, you will be able to do the transactions and stuff like that. So we'll go through that step by step right now. So what I want you guys to see is you're going to be looking at my screen here. This is my Coinbase screen. So I deposited about $1,400 yesterday into my Coinbase account. And uh, what I'm going to show you now is if you go to the portfolio, you'll see here in US dollar, you can deposit, you can withdraw. And so what I did is if you're going to deposit, you're going to just click on deposit and you can wire money in from your bank or you can click on bank account, which is what I'm doing here. And I have my Chase bank account linked. So for example, if I wanted to just deposit $10 from my Chase bank account, it would be fairly simple to walk through. It's $10, but you gotta remember there are gonna be Coinbase fees whenever you start doing this stuff. So at this point, you're gonna see that Coinbase is now available for trading. I'm gonna go into my cash account and you can see that $10 was just transferred. So what I'm gonna do, is go back to my portfolio and I'm gonna go down and find my Bitcoin wallet. Or for today, you know what? I wanna buy Litecoin today. We're gonna to go even a little more fun because I have a Litecoin card, which we could talk about another time, but today I'm gonna to buy Litecoin. So I have, as you could see in my portfolio, I'm gonna use the 1,388 US dollars that I have deposited from my bank account and I'm gonna go down to Litecoin and you can also search if you'd like up top. And I'm going to go to Litecoin Wallet. I clicked on Litecoin Wallet. And I'm going to say up here, you could send and receive on the top right-hand corner. But what I'm going to go to is trade. It's going to say buy Litecoin. And I'm going to do a one-time purchase. And I'm going to say I want to buy $1,350 of Litecoin. Preview our buy. And it's going to say, here's the price of Litecoin at $333. You're purchasing $1,330 worth of Litecoin and your fee is $19.82 in the Coinbase fee. So don't forget, you're going to have fees with Coinbase uh, with any exchange that you go to to transact your fiat, but there are places that are cheaper. But for today's purposes, we're just showing you uh, a quick and dirty how to get money in from your Chase or other fiat bank account into your cash account. And now, as you'll be able to see, I was able to use it to purchase Litecoin. So I purchased almost four Litecoin today. Um, and you can see that this Litecoin is here and settled in my wallet. Now, I do want to make it very clear to you that 
you need to make sure that your funds settled. I sent in funds that have been settled already. So my money is ready to send out. If you just transferred money into Coinbase today, it's going to take roughly seven days or so yeah. for the fees to, or for the funds to settle. And once the funds settle, you'll be able to remove your Bitcoin. I'm going to actually show you how you can see that too. If you go to your wallet, you're going to see when you go to send up at the top, it says enter amount and how much is available. When you click that little info button, it'll show you when you have money available to send. You see the $10 that I just bought today? It says it's available to send in six days at the bottom. That's because I just purchased it today. It's going to take six days to settle. I still bought Litecoin with it, but the money that I had settled now is the money I'm going to use today to send. So here you're going to see my Litecoin address, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to send Litecoin over to the new Exodus wallet that we're going to set up here in a sec. So I want to take over setting up an Exodus wallet, Daniel. Yep. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up an Exodus wallet. An Exodus wallet is basically another wallet that's not on the exchange. If you're on your app on the Coinbase website, that's an exchange. That's where you're exchanging crypto and fiat and all that kind of stuff. If that exchange was ever hacked or anything like that, all the crypto that you have stored there is up for grabs from, from a security breach. So you want to transfer it into a wallet that you hold the private keys to. And that is going to be safer. In this example, we'll use Exodus. It's a uh, it's a hot wallet. You do have to be connected to the internet. It's not a cold wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger, but it's, it's still a secure solution uh, to use to send your Litecoin to. So what we're going to do is we'll head over to your browser and you'll type in Exodus Crypto Wallet. Or you can go directly there by going to exodus.io. So you'll, when you're here, you'll see all this Exodus crypto wallet, you can scroll down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on download. And so you have the desktop and the mobile version. Uh, once you create a wallet on either one of those, you will have seed phrases. If you wanna import the one from your mobile wallet to your desktop, you can do that. Or you could do from desktop to mobile, it doesn't matter. Uh, for now, we're gonna start with the computer. You download Windows or Mac, whatever you have, Linux. You'll let it do its thing and you'll see its progress down here in the bottom left hand corner. Once that's done, you can just click it and it should start to run the installation process. Exodus has been installed. You can run it by clicking the shortcut on your desktop or in the app menu. So we'll go to your desktop and we'll find the Exodus icon that looks like this and then you'll click on it. Double click on it to open the Exodus wallet. So now that we've downloaded Exodus, I'm gonna walk you guys through what we walk every client through that sets up an Exodus wallet. Guys, it's really simple, but I wanna be very clear about this part. This next part, you have to make sure to maintain security no matter what. If someone gets the words that we're gonna talk about here in the next few minutes, they will steal your coins. All of it. In seconds. There's no exception. The only reason that someone would need that would be to take money out of your wallet and move it somewhere else. That's it. That's the only function. So we're going to walk through today how to set it up. So if we're going to go to the top right hand side and click on the settings icon. You'll see that on the top, you'll see a security tab. It's a little bit gray and kind of dimmed out, but I want you to click on security up at the top. And then from security, I want you to go down to the hyperlink. It's in purple, it says backup wallet. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna type in a password. It doesn't matter what your password is. It can be 10 or 12 characters, letters or numbers. It just needs to be uh, something that's secret to you and you're gonna be asked to click it and enter it in again. So we're gonna enter in again the password that we just created. And once again, this is a brand new wallet. We're doing this live right in front of you guys. And as you see right there, it says write down your 12 words. Daniel's gonna scroll over every word individually. These words, lock, lumber, coconut, axis, rants, race, bachelor, lab, access, peanut, cry, chronic, and pair. These 12 words are the secret words to your wallet. Now, yeah, it's dumb. I'm sharing it with you guys, but at the end of the day, I'm going to take all the money out before the uh, show even airs. So we're not worried about that. But just for the purpose of actually walking you through the entire life cycle of how this works, we wanted to show you guys that these are the 12 words that you're going to have to write down. And then Daniel, um, we're going to need to just uh, quickly hover over them and remember them together because on the next screen, it's going to ask us to verify 
which word is ours. So here's the next screen. So now you could see it's asking us which word of the 12 words you guys wrote down belongs to you. As you recall from the video where we just showed you, access was the word that was ours. Train, shiver, and myth were not there. So we click on access and we move forward. At this point, we have completed our backup. Now we have a wallet that is a brand new wallet that we own the private secret phrase to you that is associated with your private key. And this wallet has never been used before. It's a brand new wallet. No one has any clue about the existence of this wallet or where it's at. At this point, you have a wallet that is what I would call a fresh, clean, secure wallet. The only person that knows about it is the person who was there when you wrote down those words. Anything else to add? Yeah, and I would just make sure you write down those words by yourself and not on screen or something or yeah. with a person that you don't trust or something like that. So, And remember, there are a lot of ways to store it, but at the very least, guys, get on Amazon, buy a $5 fireproof passport bag, stick it in your, your drawer or your safe. At least if your house burns down, you don't lose the words, okay? It's just $5, just make it simple. And I guess we should stress it should be written down and not stored on any type of device or taken a picture of or anything like that. If there's any digital component that connects to the internet, it is vulnerable. Nice point, Daniel. So now we're going to so transfer. go to up to assets, and we're going to look at um, look up Litecoin because that's what we decided to purchase today on Coinbase. So here's the Litecoin wallet. Now we're going to transfer over to my screen too, so that you guys can see what we're doing. And as you can see here, I'm in my Litecoin wallet. So I'm going to go back one step to you guys, and I'm going to click on Litecoin wallet. And I'm going to go to the top right hand corner where that arrow is, and I'm going to push send. And I'm just gonna send everything I can, which is $1,335, a total of 3.9 Litecoin. I'm gonna continue. Now you're gonna see right here where it says two, you can write mobile, email, or address. I am going to recommend that you push on these four little blue squares up at the right, and that's gonna allow you to use your QR code. And Daniel is gonna show the receive icon. And the icon on the receive icon is gonna show us the QR code where I'll be able to come here Scan the QR code, and now I have the address written down. I'm going to confirm by looking up the first three letters and the last four. It's never been wrong, but it doesn't hurt to check. And then I'm going to go to send now. Now, I want you to see, again, there's another fee. Every time you send money, there's going to be a fee. The Litecoin fee is not too bad. Fees differ from coin to coin. Ask me for a verification. It sends it to my phone. I enter it. And there we go. Now, it usually only takes a few minutes for these transactions to go through, but the, depending on the coin, it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours for the transaction to finalize. But as you could see here in real time, I sent it at 233 and it was received at 233. Different coins take different amounts of time. It's also important to note that it's common practice to send a test amount of any type of cryptocurrency to the wallet first before sending any large amounts just to make sure that you have the address right and that the transaction goes smoothly. We didn't do it here because we've done this a lot and we've already tested it, we knew it was going to work, but it is a good idea to do it if this is a brand new wallet and you are not familiar with sending and receiving cryptocurrency. As you can see, all the money has now gone from fiat into Coinbase, from Coinbase into my Exodus wallet that can be on your tablet, on your iPhone, or if you check out Litecoin Leader's video, he'll even show you how to use an old cell phone for $100 and how to keep it secure. I highly recommend going to Litecoin Leader's videos, guys. Check out what he's got. Become a subscriber there on his channel. Yeah, we'll link his uh, video to what he was talking about in the description below on this one. And then from there, you can subscribe to him and get all the information on all the altcoins or whatever you want that he's been doing for the last month or so. So that's how to do it in Coinbase if we're using the camera. Now, I'm gonna show you guys another way to walk through this because what Daniel is gonna need to show you is what if you are using Coinbase on your laptop? So what I want you to do, Daniel, is I want you to click on the receive icon and we're gonna see where it says copy address. It's the two little boxes right there to your right. That's what I want you to click on. Now you've copied the address. Now, Daniel, I'd like you to open up an email and I want you to send me an email and we're gonna paste the address in the subject uh, or in the body of the email and you're gonna send it to me. Just wanna hop in here really quick and say that it's perfectly safe to send this address. This is the public address, this isn't the private key. 
So there is no security risk with sending this. This is uh, totally fine. Now this is the way, so if you don't have a camera guys and you don't have a way to do it with your, your phone and scanning the QR code, this is how we're gonna walk you through taking it out of Exodus, copying the address out of Exodus, pasting it in an email. Daniel, you can send it to me at patrick at the divvydaddy.com. I'll get it in my email box. And in the same way, I'd copy that address and I'm gonna walk through how to get it out of my email, copy it, paste it, and send it in Coinbase as well to Exodus. So you'll have the way to do it with um, doing it with your phone. And if you don't have a phone with a camera, uh, then or something that has a camera on it, like a tablet with a camera with a QR code reader, then we'll show you how to do it by email as well. But now I got the address and I'm gonna show you guys how this is working by the way, so that you guys can see it on my phone. So the address is here. I'm just gonna highlight it, I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go back to Coinbase. And over here, when I go to back this way, if I wanted to send Daniel Litecoin, which you won't see the send icon anymore because I don't have any more money, but when you would send, instead of pushing email, you would paste that address into there. So uh, that's just the easy way to do it. Um, if you have any questions about that, guys, drop a comment for us. If there's any way we can improve on the video or anything that left you confused, let us know. But I think from, from here, we kind of went through, here's how you get money from your Chase Bank account into Coinbase from Coinbase, how to create a brand new Exodus wallet, how to pair that wallet, how to secure that wallet, um, and then how to actually make sure that you take care of your secret words. And remember, once again, those secret words are secret? Secret. Yeah, secret. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> secret, guys. Keep it secret, keep it safe, okay? You guys know what I'm talking about, but the reason we recommend using Exodus at the end of the day is because with crypto, if you don't own your keys, you don't own your coins. You guys get what I'm saying here? So if you're on Coinbase, you don't own your private keys. You didn't see me tell you how to write down private keys on Coinbase. There are no private keys on Coinbase. Your money is in a Coinbase exchange wallet. You don't have access to it. And if their Coinbase account is down or the exchange is down with their prices going up or down, you might not be able to get in and send anything. When you get in with Exodus, you own your keys, you own your coins, you are the person who's responsible for when they're allowed to leave that wallet. That's as simple as it gets. And here we are with Simple Crypto Consulting and Divi Daddy. Have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will be back with more videos soon.